It seems that no matter what city I write my column for, the challenge remains the same. Moving back to Cleveland, I thought that the type of men here would be more sincere and grounded, as opposed to the Hollywood boys of Los Angeles and the Wall Street types of New York. I've had my fair share of dates, and they will be missed. One universal theme seems to link them all together. Boys will be boys. So I set out on my quest to document what Cleveland has to offer, so I could share some wisdom and insight to you, my faithful readers. Could the Midwest produce a higher caliber kind of guy? Meet Danny, a 25-year-old personal trainer at Bally's. Very easy on the eyes, but maybe not so much with higher brain function. I'm five, I'm six, I'm seven, I'm eight, I'm nine. 100. Whew. <clears throat> What's up? What has your dating life been like here in Cleveland? Well, it's usually hit or miss. I mean, I like my women to be in top model shape like me. I mean, it's kind of hard to find that here, I mean, in this part of the country. I mean, my ultimate goal is to make it out to L.A. Um, where everyone actually cares about what they look like and they're not always eating Popeyes. You know, and... I'm very focused on my career and, you know, I'm an aspiring actor and model and I just, you know, I'm waiting for my big break to show everyone what Dan McGinnis is all about. Um, and that'll be a great day in America when that happens. Have you ever had your heart broken? Me? Nah. I just love them and leave them. And that's the way it should be. I mean, most married people I know, they just seem so miserable and waiting to get out of their marriage. I mean, to be with the same person for, you know, for this life, just be doing the same boring thing over and over again. I don't know. But I did have a fiancé one time, and after me and her called to quits, I mean, I've been really cautious when opening up my heart and guarding myself. I mean, why put all your energy into a relationship when in the end you're going to walk out with nothing anyway, you know? But let me go on record to say that there is nothing more to life than working out and living life to the fullest. All that love stuff, that's for the movies. Great. Can I get that penny from you? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Gracias. Yeah. Yes, ladies. Nice looks don't equate to nice guys. So I came across Jermaine. Here's a guy who seems to know what ladies really want. Or so I thought. Don't want to be a player. I don't want to be playing no part. Come out and play out. Crush a lot. So what would you say is your favorite thing about a woman? <laughs> Oh man, that's uh, that's hard to say. I mean, there's so many different things that uh, I like about a woman. You know, their legs, their thighs, uh, how they smell. You know, how they look in a nice, sexy black dress. I mean, you know, we uh, we dated, and uh, I even like those sexy uh, librarian glasses. <laughs> Do you see yourself ever being a monogamist? <laughs> a monogamist? Uh, no, I mean, that's not cool to say. I mean, yeah, all right, I've dated a lot of women. I've been through all types of races and all different types of women. But um, it's not hard to you know, treat a woman right, you know. You just love them and like them. <laughs> I mean, maybe after this interview, we could uh, do some little things with the camera there. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to need that penny from you. Oh. to stay away from the ladies man like Jermaine and find the good, sensitive guy that all women say they want. Meet Dave. Great guy, very funny and sweet, and works for a retirement community. So, what do you look for in a woman? What do I look for in a woman? I, I try to find someone that I see myself taking home to meet my parents. You know, it's important for me to find a woman of the same high caliber as my mom. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of women out there that are kind of like players. They're worse players than guys are. And I can't see myself with someone like that and seeing myself get my heart broken. Um, I don't know. I've been accused of being mushy, but 
I don't know. I just, I, I see myself wanting to have that deep spiritual connection with someone, you know, and I kind of felt like we had that when we went out for coffee the other night, you know, and I've been thinking about it all weekend long. Um, so would you consider yourself more vulnerable than most guys? Well, I wouldn't consider myself vulnerable. I like to put myself out there right from the beginning, you know, lay it all out on the table. And um, I, just, I just think that communication is very important. You know, I like to talk and I like to text a lot. Speaking of which, did you get my last three texts about doing the ice skating thing in uh, the public square? Y you know what? Um, not important, not important. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, I don't know. Well, the bottom line is that I want to find someone that is my soulmate, someone that I can start a beautiful family with. Do you like children? Um, is the interview over? Uh, all right, well, do you want to do dinner maybe later on tonight? Um, maybe, but can I get that penny from you first? Uh, oh, yeah, the penny. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Oh, so... Call me, alright? Sweet, but clingy. <sighs> so, I thought maybe I should just try batting for the other team and see what being with a woman would be like. Of course, I'm not looking for some butch woman because then I could just stay with a guy. So, meet Brianna. <laughs> successful lawyer in Cleveland, and socialite. She can nab a guy or girl and she knows it. What's her secret? Listen, I like to take life by the balls and squeeze them. I'm not letting anyone or anything stand between me and what my goals are in life. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning, work out, catch up on my emails from overnight, and head to the office. I work hard till 9 p.m., hit Morton's up for dinner, <laughs> Brianna Pellucci. I don't know. I'm not in the office right now. I'm currently out of the office for a while. Call my secretary. She'll be more than help, willing to help you. All right? Thanks. Um, where was I? I work all day. That's all I do. I work, work, work. I'm a business lady. That's what I do. And after work, I'll head to Morton's for dinner. I'll hit up Lola's after for some drinks. And, yeah, life does not wait around for people. So, you like women? Listen, I'm not gay or anything like that. Being gay is weak. Being straight is weak. If I like someone, no matter what sex they are, then I'll go for it. Let's be real. I don't have time for relationships. If you are lucky enough to come home with me, then you sh sure as hell better know that you better be out of my house by 4 a.m. I have things to do. I have the rest of my life to be tied down. And right now is not the time for it. For now, life is my highway, and there's no speed limit. Great. And real quick, can I get that penny from you? Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks. Maybe we're not supposed to figure out relationships. Maybe that's what makes relationships so dynamic, is their unpredictability. And maybe the challenge lies in figuring out who we are and what we truly want. Not so much what someone else can offer us. Love can be like my piggy bank. Every date we go on is like a penny we put in the bank. It's not much at the beginning, but the collection of experiences makes us rich in wisdom and insight. So, my readers, I will leave you with this. Don't pass by any opportunities that present themselves to you. Instead, embrace them. Just make sure you drive separately.